Hey there fellow web enthusiasts, it's Christian from Racknerd and today we are diving back into the world of WordPress local development. We're going to talk about installing WordPress locally using local WP and I'm going to walk you through the process step by step. But first things first, what exactly is local WP? Well, think of it as your personal playground for WordPress development. It's a powerful tool that allows you to create a local WordPress environment on your local machine where you can build, test, and tweak your website without any hassle at all. Now, why why would you want to use local WP? Well, let me tell you, the benefits are immense. Firstly, it's lightning fast. No more waiting for your changes to propagate online. With local WP, everything happens locally on your machine, so it gets instant feedback. Plus, it's super convenient. You can work on projects offline, which is a game changer, especially if you're traveling or have spotty internet connection at times. And hey, speaking of convenience, if you are looking for a reliable web hosting solution for your WordPress sites, look no further than Rackner. Just head over to Rackner.com to explore our range of web hosting options tailored to suit your needs. Plus, don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more helpful tutorials and guides to level up your WordPress game. All right, let's dive into my screen here and let's get started with this tutorial. Okay, so just head over to localwp.com and download the local WP installer for Windows. This may take a while depending on your internet speed, so just be patient here. And once it's downloaded, go ahead and run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation process. After installation, launch Local WP and you'll be greeted with a clean and user-friendly interface. If it's your first time, you'll need to create an account to verify it via email. It should be pretty self-explanatory, but feel free to follow through my guide here on screen right now so that you don't get stuck. After creating an account with Local WP, open the application once again and click on the Create a New Site button to get started. And once again, follow the on screen instructions to complete your local WordPress setup process. You will then be asked for the necessary details such as your site name, etc., and please choose your preferred environment settings. And once your details are ready, just proceed, sit back, relax, while Local WP sets up your WordPress site for you. Now, once the process is complete, you'll be directed to your local WP dashboard where you can manage your new WordPress installation easily. Furthermore, feel free to customize your settings here and then log into your new WordPress site by navigating to your WordPress username dot local forward slash with your chosen credentials that you set up earlier when you created your local site. In my case, it is TV dot local forward slash WP dash admin. And as you can see here, we are all good to go. And there you have it folks, installing WordPress on your Windows machine using local WP is as easy as pie. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful in kickstarting your WordPress journey. Remember, patience makes perfect, so don't hesitate to experiment and explore all of the amazing 
features Local WP has to offer. And thank you again for tuning in today. Don't forget to visit Rackner.com for all your hosting needs once you're ready to go live on the web with your Local WP project. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more awesome tutorials like this one. Until next time, happy local WordPress development.